What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris and I swear this is the last episode, Scout's Honor, of Sour Patch, Swedish Fish, <laughs> Marshmallows. <laughs> no more marshmallows after this, my friend. I know y'all like, how many marshmallows is there in the world? I didn't know there was this many neither, my friends. But this right here, I've seen these three uh, flavors in the store and I was like, okay, this is it, I know Chris. You do these three flavors, no more marshmallows. <laughs> or everybody's be like, I'm tired of watching that. All right, so very popular candy, Sour Patch. We had the Sour Patch Kid uh, flavor right here. Marshmallows, I don't know if they're gonna be different flavor kids in there, we'll have to find out. And then we had the Sour Patch Kids uh, flavored watermelon, a little watermelon slices, that would be interesting. And over here on the end, it's not Sour Patch, it's a Swedish Fish. It's usually like a, like a little liquish, or I say liquish. It's like a gummy candy. It's not a liquish. It's a gummy candy. Sold in most stores anywhere around the around the world. So we're just gonna give them a taste and see how how they go. The yucky yucky, tasty tasty. I don't know. Um, that buttered popcorn, or that popcorn flavored marshmallow I did in my last video wasn't very tasty tasty. <laughs> these may get baby boss stank face too. I don't know where to find out. But we're gonna cut into these bags and we'll do one bag at a time and we'll see what we got. So let's get into it. All right, guys, let's start off with the Sour Patch Kids uh, little flavors. They do have different flavors in here. Uh, it's blue raspberry. We have a lemon and we have a lime. Is that it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have red berry and orange. See right here? The little kids on the bottom down there? They're different flavors. So we got several different flavors. Now, this brand of marshmallow was made by Frankfurt. Uh, all three bags are from the Frankfurt uh, Marshmallow Company, I guess. Uh, Never heard of them, but we'll see what we got there. But it is five flavors. Like I said, blue raspberry, blue raspberry, red berry, orange, uh, lime, and lemon. Yum, yum. I can't wait to eat these. <laughs> I got this glass sitting here to kind of hold it up because I just don't want to sit up this plastic bag. But I'm going to cut the bag open. We'll pull them out real quick and let's give them a little try. Okay, guys. I opened the bag and I took the kids out. <laughs> I got the sour kids laid right here on the counter. Why not? It's all clean. Um, only thing I did notice in this, Frankfurt, if you're listening, is that you gypped me one of my flavors. Uh, we have the lime, which is a little green fella. And we have the uh, red berry, I believe it is. The lemon. And the orange, am I correct? Orange, orange, orange. Yes. We're missing one. We're missing the blue one. We don't have the blue raspberry. Now, how you going? Jip me one flavored marshmallow. How you gonna advertise him on the bag and don't put him in there? What are we gonna do with the marshmallow companies? Ah, right, we'll let y'all slide on that, but y'all won't shout out and see me that little blue one go right ahead. You may not want to see me nothing after I taste it. We're gonna go in with the orange Sour Patch Kid first, my friends. They some horrible looking little kids. I don't talk about nobody's kids, but Sour Patch got some rough looking little children. All right, let's give him a taste. Woo wee. Y'all, mm. that is tangy and orange. Wow, I, I took his whole body. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's it's almost like uh, the flavor orange tangy drink. What they like? It's it's pretty sour. Or I say pretty tangy. Let's try the the lemon. Mmm. They on with the flavors. Woo! Yeah, he, he missing his body too. The orange one's gone. <laughs> Look at what we got here. It was the red berry. I don't know what red berry supposed to taste like. Mmm. You know what these taste like? A little bit like the Sour Patch Kids. Um. I've had other drinks and stuff that was labeled Sour Patch Kids. It must be sponsored by them. Uh, they had that uh, logo on there. But it tastes more like powder Kool-Aid. What it tastes like to me. Let's try the little lime one. Leave all their little heads left. Look <laughs> their heads. Mm. They are tart, y'all. Woo. I can see some kids enjoying these. But please supervise if you give these to your kids. Because marshmallows are dangerous. They can swallow these things. Plus, they are they're very uh, sweet and tart. Not as much on the sour as I expected. I expected to put them in my mouth and like, wow, really sour. But they're more of a, 
There's a difference in a tart and a sour. A tart's more like a, almost like a lemon or lime. I can say, mm. these don't have the, uh, the acidity. I use the word acidity. <laughs> the, the acid burn like on your tongue, like, ooh, that's, 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 you know, it's, mm, it's a little much. It's not there, uh, like it is on the candy. On the candy printer, it's like, ooh, mm, and then, mm. But these, you can eat them. They're a little tart. Uh, and sweet, but nothing really special. Kids will enjoy them. Um, these, most of these marshmallows I've, I've reviewed on here, it's another about $3 for this bag. Uh, some stores may be a little cheaper, but at my Walmarts, it's about $3. So they were okay. We'll give them one thumbs up. I expected more from the Sour Patch brand uh, being on the logo being on there. I expect them to taste more like Sour Patch Kids. They taste more just like um, almost a Kool Aid flavor marshmallow but we're gonna go ahead and move on guys i, I mean it is what it is i left their heads left <laughs> their little head little tommy little june <laughs> june buck like i said yeah one thumbs up yeah i was expecting more with that sour patch logo on there i thought it would have had more of their their um known for like bam punch you in the face it says on the back not for children under four, so keep that in mind too. A very small logo, but it's on there. But yeah, one thumbs up. Kids will like them, just watch them, but not what I thought it was gonna be. So a little disappointed in that. Let's move on to the next one, which is gonna be the watermelon flavor, Sour Patch. Let's get it up here and give it a try. All right, guys, we got the bag open. I tore it already, and we got the little uh, Sour Patch watermelon flavor slice out. I guess it's supposed to represent a little watermelon. Okay, whatever. <laughs> really sure what you were doing there. I think you had a, a roll of something you just sliced up into this, but let's give it a taste and see if it has that Sour Patch Kid watermelon flavor. Okay. Once again. Edible. Not my favorite. Mm. I taste the watermelon in it. That watermelon flavor but I really thought with it saying Sour Patch Kids it was gonna shock my mouth a lot more and you're not having that happen with this is it's just is watermelon flavor with uh, lots of powdered sugar on it not very tart or sour it's, it's kind of watermelon flavor I think you just left the Sour Patch Kid off this bag and just said watermelon flavor uh, marshmallows so if you like watermelon flavor candy I'd give it a eh, thumbs up. I don't give it two thumbs up. One thumbs up because the Sour Patch Kid, against, once again, should have been the shocking taste. And it's not there. It's just watermelon flavor. So, one thumbs up on the watermelon flavor. Sour Patch Kids, give it a try if you want to. But, not my favorite. Let's move on to the Swedish Fish. <laughs> Alright guys, Swedish Fish is the last one up here. It's well known, like I said, of a, like a... a gummy candy and boxes and bags sold all around the world i'm pretty sure it's been around for a long time they got the little shape cut out like the fish uh smells kind of like it that's what it tastes like hmm yeah this one right here lived up to what i thought it would be ah uh, my dying to eat Swedish fish gummies, but this ain't bad. If you like Swedish fish candy, you'll love this. It tastes just like them, other than it's the, it's the, the marshmallow form. Um, really uh, surprised by the Sour Patch Kids. Wasn't all that, and I was like, wow. I thought they was gonna shock my mouth, but they really let me down, so I'm gonna give two thumbs up to the Swedish fish. Because it is what it says it is on the bag. The flavor is there. Presentation is eh, okay. I mean, best you can do with a marshmallow. Trying to make it look like a fish, I guess. But yeah, these are pretty good. If you like Swedish fish candies. So I, I would recommend these with two thumbs up. The Sour Patch Kids, and eh, not so much. I would like to say one thumbs up for each bag. Is it worth $3? I would probably. Myself, I wouldn't ever buy them again. I'd skip on it. I wouldn't even buy it for my kids. Uh, if I had kids, grandkids to give it to, I wouldn't even give it to them because... They're used to Sour Patch Kids candy and they know what it tastes like. And those marshmallows really don't meet those standards. And they left the blueberry one out of the um, the kid bag. So that's a 
extra no-no right there, I think. Kind of shorted us. So, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap this review up. I hope you enjoyed it. It was the last marshmallow review. I uh, hope I didn't bore you to death. Hope it maybe helped you out. Pick out some marshmallows if you want some. Uh, we got two no's. One thumbs up, you know, just flavor, but wasn't really there that shocking. And we got one with two thumbs up. But that's going to do it. Um, leave a comment down below. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Subscribe. Thanks. Join. That's it. <laughs> Until I see y'all the next time, my friends. Y'all stay safe and keep tubing.